Good morning, Brave Awakened Ones. Lady V here. I know you haven't heard from me in a, in a few days because I have been imprinting my mantras along with uh, some sacred geometry. I've been working on that and, of course, doing sessions and my webinars, um, which you can go to HigherRealmHolistics.com if you're interested in booking yourself. I'm a medical empathic intuitive, Reiki master, energy healer, spiritual counselor, and guide. Now, um, I am making this video because of an experience that I had during, you know, the one o'clock to five o'clock hours, which is usually when I have my experiences. It was a timeline collapsing experience, and it had to do with collapsing a soulmate timeline. Now, I'm going to address a subject that is extremely touchy. <clears throat> it's the soulmate twin flame. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's the soulmate twin flame topic, which I always try to cover in a roundabout way because the human ego is so strong on this topic. It's like, you know, ever try to help a friend who's with a bad partner? They, the, that partner could have just finished whipping their ass. And you're like, oh, my God, why are you with him? Why are you with her? They treat you like a punk. They beat on you, blah, blah. And they, that person turns on you like a rabid dog. That is what it's like when you address somebody who wants to be in a twin flame situation. Because they just want it so bad. They're rabid about it. And that is not, that's called obsession, okay? And I know a lot of forerunners out there who do videos and who do counseling have come across that. Try to tell somebody, no, you're being obsessive. That is not your twin flame. Leave that person alone and just see how quick that they wish death upon you, okay? So that's why it's like, I try not to address the topic, but it is what it is and I have to address it because the wave that's coming ashore right now, the wave of light workers, including myself, who's coming ashore right now at the end of this year, beginning of January, we're also reconnecting with our twin flames. And there were certain timelines we had to collapse, certain cords we had to cut, that one last thing we needed to do, in my case, two last things we needed to do prior to coming ashore, okay, and hitting reunion. Now, the mantra <clears throat> I was given for the twin flame, and remember, it's him or her. In my case, it's a him, okay? I accept him, I receive him, and everything that comes with him in unconditional divine love and gratitude. And I wrote that in my previous video in the comments section. <coughs> Excuse me. Now again, <clears throat> I'm going to share my experience that I had. And if it resonates with you, it resonates with you. Therefore, we're riding on this wave and on this wave together. If it doesn't resonate with you, that means we're, you're just not riding on, in on the wave with me. It's a different experience for you. Okay? There is no debate here. And if anyone posts a nasty comment, personally attacking me, going in and trying to personally attack my subscribers who are making comments, you know, trying to spread your religious vitriol or, you know, get upset because I mentioned certain deities because they're somehow exclusive to you. I'm going to delete you and block you. And I have been doing that. Okay. I will continue to do so. With that being said, the experience I had, I've been doing this for the past few days, the mantra, okay, along with the mantra for my divine mission and purpose, my twin flame mantra. And the experience I had was the timeline experience was I was in the timeline where I was with my soulmate who I had chosen over my twin flame because I just couldn't deal with the heartbreak of the twin flame thing anymore, especially when he decided to go off with a karmic. Now I'm starting with the shakes. Sorry about that. 
Okay. Um, so I was in that timeline with my soulmate and I had to say goodbye to him. It, again, it, it's not a dream. You know when it's a dream, you know when it's not a dream. This is not a dream. It's the timeline that existed when I made the decision that I no longer wanted to do the twin flame journey and I wanted to choose a soulmate. And I knew, I knew in choosing that soulmate <clears throat> that it would change everything else in my life. That I would not be on that timeline where I would be master building. I would have a happy little life. Being a happy little wife, I would, to a very wonderful man, but it would not be accomplishing my divine mission and purpose. And since I made that choice as a sovereign divine being to choose my divine mission and purpose and everything that comes with it, well, my twin flame comes with that divine mission and purpose. So I had to collapse that timeline with my soulmate. And what led me, literally guided me to go do that was um, <clears throat> they came to me in this form because one of my soul aspects is Lakshmi. And one of his soul aspects is Vishnu. Those are two Hindu gods and goddesses, okay, beings, okay, because people get so funny. And I feel weird using the word God and goddesses because then people start thinking about the worship and, you know, oh, no, that's not the true God. That's these were actual beings that were here on Earth. They came, they were here at the point of creation also, you know, they were living, breathing beings. Um, and part of my soul aspect is Lakshmi. One of my soul aspects, I have 13. One of them's Lakshmi and one of his is Vishnu. And they came to me and I had this picture for the past six years. This is how they originally came to me right here. This is Rama. This is another, this is an avatar or as my oversoul would refer to it as a soul aspect of Vishnu right here. But they came to me like this in this image and then I found this image because I had no idea who they were. Lakshmi came to me first. She was the first aberration that first soul aspect, first aberration that ever came to me when I had when I was starting my ascension process in 2012. And then soon afterwards I saw Vishnu and they came to me like this. Okay, that was the image. And I was shown I had a twin flame and that was one of his soul aspects. I did not meet this guy yet, had no idea anything about him until a couple of years later then I was shown not his face but the the more distinctive aspects of him of how he looked and how I'd recognize him and when I did I like I said I ran out of the room because I was overwhelmed. It was like WTF no, I cannot believe this is real. I don't want it to be real. I don't want any part of this crazy mess. Um, but they came to me and knowing that I was led to a mantra, which I will have down there in the description box. Okay. That, um, I was saying since about three o'clock this morning, I was saying that mantra and it's like six something right now. Oh, there goes the hound, hounds of hell barking. <laughs> um, so yeah those are the those are the twin flame aspects that we are could be you also don't think oh that's just her no i'm not saying that not at all all of these souls are broken into this amazing number of souls and we each embody those soul aspects of these masters i call them masters instead of gods these masters okay so, yeah, 
time to make that choice. If you've been saying this mantra or whatever it is your oversoul has guided you to say to accept your twin flame journey, yeah, um, time to release anything else that would get in the way of that if you so choose if you're choosing this journey if you're choosing your divine mission and purpose which incorporates your your twin flame and another aspect when it comes to the twin flame which i know some people won't agree on and like i said it's not up something that's up for debate it's just how it was presented to me so i may understand it when i ask my oversoul to explain it to me whether you're working on the micro or the macro level, okay? Um, a twin flame union is part, you come into union with your twin flame at a time such as this, which is the ascension of Gaia and the freeing of the Gaia's children. The freeing of Gaia, the freeing of her souls, of her children's souls that have been captured here for millennia. Whether it's on a macro or micro level you're working. That is the purpose of your twin flame union. It's part of the whole thing. It's part of your divine mission. It's part of your divine purpose. Okay. Um, and again with the whole. I want to find my twin flame. You know who are you to think you have one. And I don't have one. If you're a true twin flame. Trust me. You don't want. You really weren't asking for it you weren't looking for it you weren't asking for it you didn't think this was part of the deal um like i said it's a rough it's a rough one okay the whole twin flame thing and it's part of your divine mission and purpose because the two of you coming together that union is something extremely sacred extremely special and the two of you coming together is for a reason it is a partnership it is a reason and two of you are here to work together your energies once your energies come together it's to ground certain energies into Gaia into the beings of Gaia for the ascension process knowing that that's one that's one thing but also what it is that you two are working on together or are supposed to work on together or have been working on together. That's another thing. Okay, so there are two aspects grounding in certain energy that twin flame energy grounds in and also aspects of working together. I'm a number 22 master builder and so is he. And it is the divine feminine that is leading it because it's the divine feminine energies that are rising right now. Okay, because it has been a lower male, it's a lower masculine energy, not male, I should not say male, scratch that, it's a lower masculine energy that has been imprisoning Gaia. So it's the divine feminine that needs to rise and meet the divine masculine to balance things out to cause an ascension cause the ascension jump i hope i'm i'm trying to explain it the best i can again like i said words are extremely hard for me have gotten harder and harder and harder everything is so telepathic and when you get a download it's not words it's not like me talking to you okay it's a knowing and how do you know if someone is your twin flame you are you're guided you're guided by your oversoul it's a knowing you know that you know that you know it's not someone that you know you're obsessing over who oh I saw him on Facebook and and I can't stop thinking about him and I'm writing him but he's not writing me back no because you're a stalker stop it Okay, and again, if you don't like my method of delivery, don't watch my channel because I'm going to keep it straight up with you. That is my method because that is how I get it from my oversoul because I told my oversoul I want it straight up, dumb it down. I want it straight up, 
don't sugarcoat it for me. So I cannot deliver it in a way that it's not delivered to me. Okay. So I'm going to put a link to that mantra, the Vishnu Lakshmi mantra. So <clears throat> that energy can guide you. You don't have to necessarily say it, listen to it, but it'd be great if you could chant it. And also the mantra I was given, I accept him or her, I receive him or her, and everything that comes with him or her in unconditional divine love. Again, that does not mean if someone, a twin flame does not beat on your ass. Okay, so stop it. A twin flame does not beat on you. A twin flame does not deliberately try to humiliate you. A twin flame is not narcissistic. They're a divine male. They're, that's a divine, I'm sorry, divine masculine energy. Divine. Emphasis on the word divine. Okay? Someone who's awakening and ascending is not narcissistic. They're not abusive. There's genuine love there. There may be confusion, which is the biggest part. Confusion and working through working through their ego but if you are an ascending awakened divine female you will know the difference <clears throat> there is a difference you will know the difference okay so all right i touch on that subject if anyone's interested in working with me you can go to higherrealmholistics.com to book a session okay so peace, namaste, Lady V out. We're almost ashore. Trust me, I'm as weary as you are, but we're almost ashore. Okay, peace out. Victory to the light.